What's going on guys? Gym day on this video, gym therapy. We are hitting legs. I've got little bro right here. Long time no see. I know. Hey, hey. I need to hit a bite of that before I cramp up. This is for my workout. This is all I have for a pre-workout. You well, get no banana. I'm gonna cramp up. You're not gonna cramp up. Can this help me with cramping? <laughs> I'm a big fan of um, banana and peanut butter. It's what I do. Interesting. Before every workout now. Oh, banana peanut butter is fire. This sort of protein and fat just digests slow, and then the banana has plenty of carbs. Stop, Diablo. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm gonna eat this peanut butter, I'm gonna eat this banana. We'll see you guys warming up in the gym. I hope everyone's meeting their gym gains. Wait, what? Meeting their goals and making them gym gains. There it is. Shut the fuck up. What's going on, guys? Thanks for joining me for another gym therapy video. Leg day today, my favorite day. I used to avoid leg days like the plague. I, I was a show muscle type of kid. Now I'm trying to build them cake so I can have me a nice birthday party. I don't know where that came from. In this video, I got the pleasure of lifting with my little brother Luke, little bro. I haven't seen him on the channel in a while, um, but he wanted to come, and I'm always game for a workout partner. And today it was awesome because I didn't even know this, but Luke isn't a squatter. He is not someone who has formally done many squat workouts. I would later find out after the workout, he's only squatted a few times in his whole life. And so I, I myself being relatively new to squatting, I've only been squatting for about two years. Um, you know, it was really great to work with him because he had some issues, but beyond having some issues with his squat, he really didn't have anything to go off other than lifting at school in his weight training class. He was telling me that he goes lower in, in terms of his depth than almost every kid in his class. And my man was like, Luke was half repping on his first set. Not the set you saw, I got him a little closer to parallel, but he didn't know what he was doing. And, and apparently no one's been instructing him or his stu like classmates about proper form and depth and um, breathing techniques. So it was really exciting to work with him because it really helped me focus on my form, you know, my my technique, my breathing, my setup, you know, my foot positioning, all the basics that I kind of don't even think about, although I try to be mindful of. When you work with a newcomer, when you work with someone who's just figuring out what squatting is uh, and they're hungry to learn, man, does it bring out the best of you. So it was a really cool experience to lift with him and I look forward to doing it again. He's going to get a membership at 24 because we really got to just get to the basics, you know? And I've recently had to change my squat. I used to squat a lot wider stance, but I tweaked my right hip, and um, and because of that tweak, I, I haven't been able to, to go wide, and I had to narrow it, which makes it a little harder for me to hit depth. So he's really timid. You can see here, he's really timid to hit depth, but I mean, it's amazing how much better he got as the night went on, and I just didn't want to overwhelm him and overpressure him, because if you guys have ever squatted, and you remember when you started, it, it can take a while to figure out what's what and how to, how to get proper and how you, wow, weird sentence. It can take a while to get used to the form, to get the muscle memory and to get used to the mobility. I think he might have some mobility issues. So here's me hitting 405. Um, I was pretty pleased with my depth here. I, I, the weight felt light, which speaks volumes to having a workout partner. I love, 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 love having a workout partner. It always brings out the best of me and my intensity is incredible. And building strength, building muscle, so much of it has to do with intensity. Here is something, by the way, after we did all those sets, building up some heavy quads, um, quadruple sets, that is, we did our accessory work. And for me, accessory work is usually running between 8 to 12 reps of a lighter weight. So what is this, like 275? We did three sets of this. But anyway, I, back to having a workout partner. Guys, ladies, if you can find a workout partner, hold on to them. Hold on to them. Because I think I've taken it for granted in the past when I've had a workout partner. Um, and... I just assumed I'd always kind of have one, but people get excited about training, get excited about lifting, and then they kind of fall off the wagon, and, and the excitement and the luster wears off, you know, and I'm a lifer, uh, God willing, I'm a lifer, I'm in this gym all the time, I'm finally dialing in my diet, I'm down 20 pounds in the last six weeks, and I got another 20 to 30 to lose, and, um, you know, I, I just, I always want to be in the gym, and I really, really feel more committed now than ever to finding a workout partner who's willing to commit a little more than I've been able to get in the past. But anyway, thank you for joining me for this video. Let me know what you want to see from gym therapy videos and I will accommodate it. And I appreciate your time. Be sure to stay tuned right now. You're about to see my post-workout shake. Yeah, good leg day. That was fun. We had good volume. Man, I love working out with a workout partner. This one the most. How many times have you squatted, like really squatted? How many formal squat workouts have you had in your life? A couple billion. No, really though. Probably in one hand. Probably like four or five. Formal squatting, that was like 
fifth time in his life. He did so good. 405 was moving up well for me. That was a good workout. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I got this like badass little spider tripod that I can mount the camera in pretty cool places. Wake up. Wake up, bruh. We're just gonna stretch and then I'll bring you guys along for the post-workout meal. I love Shut up. Hey, so <laughs> you. He's an affectionate. We gotta go Roy. Oh god, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Just say goodbye. Deuce's mother trucker. <laughs> <You're so dumb. laughs> Bye, Papa Schmears. Am I like one of the best big brothers ever? Yes. Tell me I'm the best. Yes. Thanks, dude. That wasn't pressured at all. All right, see you. Love you. All right, love you. Love you. Love you. You've been like a brother to me. Love you. Love you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, we are in the kitchen. I got my ninja right here, and I have my blender. Um, I, I feel like a post-workout shake. I'm going to show you how I get down. Putting two big old scoops. I mean, we're, we're going to fill that up with some spinach. My raw protein. I can't do whey or casein protein anymore. I don't care how it breaks down in the body or how effective or efficient that is for muscle building. This is what's most effective for my butthole. Let's get a couple scoops of that. Get out of the way. Man, I need I need another set of hands. Obviously the berries keep the smoothie cool. And so we'll put a little scoop of peanut butter in here. Real nice. What's missing? Liquid. Got some almond milk right here. Unsweetened vanilla. It's a really slow awkward process, isn't it? Mm hmm you know what? I'm gonna include a banana. I'm just kind of getting creative, I guess. Okay. Bananas are like, this is gonna be hearty. Damn. Let's blend it. Let's. <laughs> Run away! Little girl. <sighs> what I like about spinach, guys, spinach blends so well. So well. It's effectively tasteless. <laughs> See. Kinda looks like sludge. Oh eh, boy. It's good. It's entirely too thick. That's what she said. Quit hiding. It's okay. It's good, it's just it's too thick. Thank you guys for joining me for my workout. Um it's very important for me to keep showing you this part of my life. At least once a week I've decided because I'm in the gym five, six days a week. And it's been such a huge part of my life, as I've said before, I don't mean to get redundant, but I just want to always encourage you guys uh, to find a way to get active. That sounds so cheesy, but it's just been a big deal in my life. What's that? Yes, my love just said eating healthy is just as important, if not more important. We're trying to put the two together. Thank you for joining me for this leg day video. I hope you enjoyed the footage. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. It really does help support the channel. Otherwise, one day, one hour, one minute at a time, you can get through whatever it is you're going through. And I appreciate your support. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.